yesterday but we're here today so welcome join in i miss you all so much during the week but here we are at the weekend java is sniffing my back and it tickles so can you please stop oh i got my hair done isn't it cute y'all let me even tell you the story about this before we even get into the vlog so before i start great experience um when i first moved to philly i met this woman who uh did braids and it was the best experience of my life she was professional she was on time everything the salon was great she washed my hair it was included everything was just perfectly perfect right and then she stopped braiding <laughs> she's not braided for a while so during that time i went to find other braiders and you know my experiences haven't been as amazing as her because nobody be professional and i know y'all feel me on this because it's really just an epidemic at this point but she uh started braiding again so i booked with her my original appointment was on Thursday at 4, but I actually had something come up on Thursday at 4. So I was like trying to work with her to figure out what I could do. First of all, let me get out the sunlight because it's just entirely too bright for me right now. All right, a little better on the sunlight. I'm in the office now. But anyways, I was trying to work with her to figure out what I could do. I was like, can you do Saturday or Sunday or like late Friday? She was like, I can either do Friday or next Saturday. I was like, dang, I can't do next Saturday because I need my hair done this weekend. I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. Uh, I need my hair done this weekend, so I'm like, dang. Oh, you probably already know why, because this vlog going up on Tuesday. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she was like, can you come Friday? I was like, I have to work, and then I have to take my dog to training. And she was like, well, what time can you come on Friday? I'm like, honestly, the like the earliest I can get there is like 7.30. So she was like, okay, come. Girl, she saved me. I So I got there at around... It was probably around 8 when we started, a little bit after 8 maybe. We finished a little bit after 11 p.m. Now, I know it's crazy to be getting braids that late at night, but girl, she came through for me. Like, she came through. So, yes, again, it was late, but I am very happy I got that out of the way because I had ended up, like, trying to work with her, but actually booking with somebody else. And that somebody else was for Sunday at 6 o'clock at night, and I'm leaving on Monday morning for a trip. By the way, I'm going on a brand trip. Oh, my God! how i don't know god is so good and so faithful i'm going on a brand trip on monday so i needed my hair done this weekend y'all um so yeah i was like dang sunday at six is pushing it real tight because i probably wouldn't finish with her till like 10 or 11 i don't know and my flight is monday morning and i gotta get the dog situation i gotta get packed i gotta do all this stuff so i'm like i would really rather get my hair out the way so i got out the way she did my hair it is absolutely beautiful like how did she do that I don't know her at i will put on the screen y'all know i do not promote people unless they are worth promoting because i just feel like people deserve their flowers um uh, like paid promo or not i feel like people deserve their flowers and obviously she doesn't have to pay me to say that she is a good person she is a good braider she was very professional or washes included um so if you're in philly and you're looking for a braider now listen all i know is when i go to get my hair braided it better be a spot left i'm gonna put y'all on but it better be a spot left when I go to get my braids, okay? Um, but that's her at, and I like her very much. Uh, she will be continuing to get in my business. But y'all know, I don't promote people unless they deserve the promotion, okay? But anyways, let's get into the weekend. This is going to be a Saturday and a Sunday vlog, because again, I did not feel like vlogging yesterday. I deeply apologize, but I had a long day. Java went to training. I had to work. I had to get my hair done. It was an action-packed day, and I didn't get home till like 12.30 at night and immediately crashed, so... Yeah, speaking of Java, he did go to his first day of training yesterday. They said that he did really well, but she said that, you know, Java is a challenge. And I knew that because he's one of the most reactive dogs I've ever met, especially for his age. She said that he was a challenge, okay? And I'm not going to lie, those words kind of discouraged me a little bit because the guy that did my evaluation wasn't the guy who had Java all day. It was a different woman. So I was like, mm. but then she said she eventually figured it out and she started to learn him and like just figure him out a little bit. So by the time I picked him up, she had taught him so much, y'all. And he is a really good dog. But he is extreme. He's still a good dog despite him being extremely reactive. Um, that doesn't take anything away from him, but we'll just have to continue to work with him and have a lot of patience and grace with him. So he is doing really well. He's actually right here at my feet taking a nap. I'm going to show y'all them before we leave. Java or Juno's here also. Uh, I need to do something special with Juno because I, I left him home all day yesterday. It was 
it was a lot. He didn't have his buddy job, but, um, but they both deserve their flowers too. Um, but anyways, I am going to go out and run some errands for the trip today, y'all. You already know where I am by now because you'll be watching this vlog um, on Tuesday. So again, Disney invited me to Disney World with some of my favorite creators. Uh, you probably already seen some people on my story. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, but... Alyssa is going to be there. Alyssa Davis or True to List. Kayla Cake is going to be there. Uh, Kat Volsey is going to be there. OBL Jones is going to be there. So many people are going to be there that I know and love. Um, so I'm extremely, extremely excited to go. And I can't even believe that like my life is unfolding the way it is. Like I was on my story the other day just like giving God all the praise because he's really just supplied me with so much favor. Um, so many of the things that I want are just happening right before my eyes and to watch my life unfold like this I'm so extremely grateful. So I owe it all to him extremely extremely grateful y'all like the social media journey is growing It's expanding. It is I don't know. It's feeding me. It's giving me grace. It's giving me wisdom It's giving me knowledge. Um, but above that God has given me all that stuff So I am very 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 excited to go but again, we need to go prep I need to go get a bigger suitcase because they let us know that they're gonna be giving us a lot of goodies and to leave some room in the suitcase And I'm trying to go shopping too. So I need to go get a bigger suitcase um we need to go get some travel size things probably from Sephora, like this travel size caudal leaf spray. Don't ask me why I didn't get it last week because, yes, last week I knew I was going on this brand trip. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, maybe a travel size like facial cleanser from Youth to the People. I don't know, but some of those things, a new suitcase, and it's one more thing. Probably to Target to get like some travel size things also. It's probably, was it, I think there was one more thing, but I guess. Oh, to the mall, duh. The mall. I'm going to go to a couple stores to try to find a couple outfits. I know I have a couple tops that I have not worn yet, like that silver top that has like the cutout here. You probably don't remember. If you do, you're a real one and you got a good memory, but I have not worn that yet. So I think I'm going to wear that to a welcome dinner or something like that. I got a couple other tops that I just haven't worn that are brand new, um, but I think I want some heels. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, just whatever calls us. So let's do that. I'm going to show you all my outfit. I'm trying to think of any other updates that I may or may not have. Do not look at my nails this whole vlog until tonight. I'm going to do my nails tonight. I'm showing you anyways. That was embarrassing. Um, I am going to do my nails tonight for Disney and have them be all cute. But this whole hand, I done took off. This whole hand is still remaining. I need to remove this hand, do nails. Later on live, of course, we're going to chit chat with the girls. I'm trying to think, what else are we missing? Oh, duh, giveaway. Um, Somebody called me out on live. I was actually on live like an hour ago. Somebody called me out and said that I did not make the other basket. She was not lying. That other basket has not been made, but we don't even have winners yet, so it's okay. I'm going to probably do that tomorrow during the day because I don't have much to do tomorrow besides just clean my apartment before I leave out. Um, we'll do that. We'll announce the giver, the giver, the winner tomorrow of the giveaway on my stories. So by the time you see this vlog, the winner will be in it toward the end tomorrow again, Sunday. But before this vlog will be up, I'll post it on my story, of course, like I said before. Um, I guess that's it, y'all. Of course, I'm wearing my leather jacket again because you're not gonna stop me from wearing my clothes. But let me show you my outfit, and I guess we can go. So, the sun from the mirror really is like in the way, but you get the idea. Jacket is Zara, you already know. You know this jacket. Don't no, no, just play it. Uh, this shirt is from Ritzia. Jeans, jeans are Zara. Uh, I have on my CDG Converse today, and of course, I'm wearing my quilted tabby 20. Is that what it's called? Yes, I believe quilted tabby 20 in gunmetal um so yeah i'm wearing my uh i was about to say green red glasses and i changed my earrings to some a little bit of a bigger hoop from the little tj maxx set i bought last week i said i would show y'all java and juno before i left here they are java is a puppy so all he does is sleep and y'all if i don't regulate his naps he will crash anywhere that he lands like any see he's very very tired in the mornings he's tired all day abs after playing uh so i make sure to regulate his naps and he is absolutely due for one right now so i'm about to create him and leave out y'all i am so excited i can't even like express how excited i am i've been um talking to Alyssa a lot because when i saw the list of creators that were going and Alyssa's name was next to mine i almost did a backflip if you know Alyssa or true to list um oh my goodness her spirit and her personality is just so amazing and i've been like I, I like that's my internet friend you know and you know when you meet your internet friend in person but the way it just happened is so divine because not us on the same brand trip um but then i messaged her i'm like oh my gosh you're going to disney she was like no way you're going I'm like i feel so much better now because i didn't really like i knew of people but i didn't know them and she was the only one that i had like prior conversations with so i'm so excited to meet her in person um i'm trying to figure out where to go first i think i'm gonna head to the mall first 
I'm gonna try to look for a dress. I don't know, maybe. I'm not a huge dress girl. I also want to look for some Adidas Sambas because I've been seeing the girls wear those all week long. And I'm like, dang, I want me a pair. And I feel like that would be cute to like wear my, like walking around Disney shoes. Of course, I'm bringing my Asics because you know me, tried and true, and those are comfortable. So yeah, Asics and New Balance are probably coming with me because they're the most most comfy. I need like a dinner shoe because um, we already got our itinerary. And by the way, this vlog will not include Disney at all. I'm ending this vlog tomorrow with the giveaway winner and stuff like that so I can get this up to y'all on Tuesday. Um, but the next vlog after this will be all about Disney. And of course, I'll be posting on my Instagram stories and TikTok like in realer time. Um, so then you won't have to wait. But the vlog is going to be like the full experience and that'll be last because it's the longest form content. But yeah, I'm gonna try to see what suitcases I can find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they have the best suitcases and things. But I'm gonna head to the mall first since it's the furthest out and I'm gonna make my way back home with all the things that I need, hopefully. I am here now. I have the most upbeat energy today because I'm not gonna lie, the sun being out is like making me so happy because it hasn't been out in so long. Plus it got a little warmth to it. It's like 45 um, and where I'm from, we, we, we can do that. Ouch, I just hit my head. We can make 45 work, okay? Um, so I'm gonna try to find some Sambas in Nordstrom first and then I'm going to head to Zara and Aritzia and I think that might be it. Oh, I support the. So I'm in Nordstrom, I took a peek at their sneakers. I don't see any Sambas, but they have a lot of sale shoes over here and then they have a lot of CDG Converse over there, but I don't see any Sambas, so I'm gonna go to the next place. All right, I found this like cute purpley pinky type of sweatsuit. Uh, so I'm gonna get an extra small in the pants and then get a small in the top. The small is on the other side of the store, but this is gonna be my travel fit, so I'm gonna grab this. Okay, y'all, I'm in full locker right now. They have a lot of, um, gazelles are they called not sambas and maybe i'm looking for gazelles because these pink ones are so freaking cute what are those i don't know what those are campies i feel like those are cute and pink i think there's a fingerprint on my camera and then i'll probably end up getting these ones also but i'm gonna try them on first these are also really cute but i kind of have some metallic shoes already but these are so cute I decided on the white Samba. I'm waiting on him to bring them. But y'all, I was in Aritzia for like three seconds. I saw this sweatsuit. I was like, let me get that and get up out of here. Um, but I think I'm a size five in Sambas. I've never had Sambas or Gazelle, so I'm just waiting on him to bring them out. Size, but I think I only need like four things in Sephora, maybe even three. So I'm gonna get in here and get out of here. Okay, never mind. That Zara or that Sephora, hold on. Not Zara got the same thing as Aritzia. This is actually really cute. This is Zara Kids though, but I can fit this for sure. This is the exact same thing I just bought from freaking Aritzia. I feel like I should get this one before I just got that one. But what I was trying to say is that Sephora line was too long, so I left. I don't care. Um, I'll go to a different Sephora that I know of, like, on my way home. But I'm feeling this in Zara Kids, because, girl, what? This is giving Aritzia modern top. So, I'm getting this, too. Uh, I'm going to leave that one over there, because the pants didn't fit me. But this is cute. I'm definitely getting this. All right, y'all, so I found this. I think it's really cute. Definitely am going to get the top. And it's long sleeve. So, it's a little in Orlando right now. So, definitely going to do this. Just trying to decide if I want the matching pants with some heels, or if I want to do one of these pair of jeans. I feel like these would be so cute with it. Like, look. I feel like that'll set it off more than this. It's given basic. But this with a pair of heels, I feel like you don't need to see the wash of these. Like, that would be cute. I'm gonna try that sweatsuit on. I'm not gonna get this because I feel like this top fits really nicely. Um, and then, yeah, let's try the other pants on. So these are okay, but I have a really big gap and I don't have time to like fix them or anything because I'm leaving Monday. So I don't think these are gonna be it. So far, the matching pants are better than these with this. But let me try on these other pants right here. 
Alright y'all, so these are much better. I'm definitely gonna go with these instead of the matching pants. I feel like it just sets it off a little bit, gives it a little bit more contrast. The legs are super wide, so I need to find a few pair of heels, preferably a pointy pair of heels. Um, but this is really cute. I think the uh, color palette is really Alright, this is what the Kate set looks like on. I'm not mad at it, but maybe I'm just used to a Ritzia quality because it's just like flimsy, I guess. I don't know. I feel like the crotch looks a little weird because it is children's, but I feel like the jacket is really cute. So I think if nothing else, I'm gonna get the hoodie, the zip up. Um, I don't know about the pants. I don't know how I feel about these. Like, they're not ugly, but they're not Aritzia, so I think I'm just get the jacket for this. So I just got everything that I needed in there. Again, that Sephora line was entirely too long for me. Like, it was wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. I said, nope, put my stuff back. I'll go to a different one. And then we just need to hit TJ Maxx slash Marshalls. Where is one, like, connected, I wonder? I think about that. I still haven't eaten. Horrible, I know. Uh, so we got to do that. I'm thinking vegan pizza. Um, so let's go and we probably need to go to Target too. So let's do it so I can get home. It's 2 58 We run on another clock y'all be on my live telling me how I always get home late I'm gonna get home before Before five let's do it These are not my sitting jeans, or at least they're not my be full and sit jeans. So I got, I just gotta unbutton the top of those real quick, uh, and then we can go to. I'm going go to TJ Maxx. If they don't have what I want or what I need, I'm just gonna go to Marshalls, and then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna save Target for tomorrow because I don't have anything to do tomorrow but clean up and pack. So we're gonna do that. But when I tell y'all, I just need a moment to decompress after I eat, and I got a job somewhere else. That's why I like to eat last because, whew, I'm full. <laughs> when I tell y'all, like, this is just that girl when I tell y'all suitcases, stop playing right now. They have so many. Oh my goodness. I just need to go bigger than what I currently have. So let me see which one I want. So I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's the cutest. It gives Disney a little bit of some color. Plus I like being able to tell mine apart when I'm picking it up in baggage frame. So that's why I usually don't go for black. Once again, TJ Maxx did not fail me. Um, when I tell y'all I'm a Maxinista, I mean it. They gonna have everything you need. I didn't feel like looking around the store, so I just got that because I'm ready to go home. It is 4.44. I'm still doing pretty well. Um, and now I'm about to go home and get started on my nails, feed my dogs, actually let them out to walk, reinforce some training with Java, and then I'll do my nails and probably eat some dinner later. All right, so I am home now. Uh, the dogs have gone outside and everything fed them i also changed into something a little bit more comfortable because like i said we're about to do nails eventually but i'm gonna show you everything that i got in case i didn't because i feel like i didn't do a, a marvelous job vlogging today because i don't know why but also look y'all this has been sitting in this chair truly sent me a pr package and i do like truly don't get me wrong but this right here is so cute i'm gonna put all my little toiletries in there when i travel like tell me this isn't so cute it's giving like um vintage louis like you know the colorful louis i feel like that is like channeling the in they're channeling inner that i also just clipped some of my nails off while i was waiting on my camera to charge but so ignore that but isn't this so cute y'all i feel like i can fit all my little bips and bops in there especially since i went to go get some travel size things but let me show y'all look at him and when i tell you he will get a sock from somewhere that's his dirty sock i gave it to him what's that that you have Oh, that's your toy. I thought he got something out the bag. I also got them a ball, but they already got it stuck up under my bed. So now they've resorted to their other toys. Hence this, the sock and the um, whatever that is. But let me show you everything I got from right here. All right, first up, the Sambas. Not gonna lie, they do run a little big. Uh, had a lot of room in my... I wear a size five and I got a five, but 
there's a little bit of room in them at the toe and everything. I tried on the four and a half, but they were just a little too tight. So I just decided to go with the five. These are so cute and so inexpensive. For $80, this is a really cute shoe to have um, in your wardrobe. I feel like you can do a lot with that shoe. You can definitely dress it up. I feel like it would be cute with like one of those little skirt type of vibes, like a silk skirt with a shirt, uh, whatever. But uh, let's go into Zara. I ended up with the zip up hoodie. Didn't get the pants, y'all, because like I said, they didn't fit how i would prefer so i just got the hoodie um and that definitely gives modern taupe from or top from aritzia uh i ended up getting both the matching pieces to this i also got the pants actually let me go to my room real quick so i can show y'all what i was thinking about for the pants because i put it on my archive story to like vote which one y'all like better um and people did say get the matching pants, so I got both because I couldn't really decide. When I got home, like, I know I got something to wear with those pants. Come to find out, there's this sparkly shirt I never wore that I bought from H&M some months back. Uh, and I think it'll look really good with these pants, so we're going to do that. Aritzia pieces, I think, are my favorite because, girl, the color is giving spring. It's giving, I don't know, it's giving Disney, yeah. Definitely giving Disney. I'm gonna wear my green set and this one to on there. The color is so cute. I don't even know if it's picking up properly on camera. It's like a, let's see what they call it first of all. So if you want it, you can go get it. I'll also link it in my LTK, but uh, Sugar Plum Lilac, they call it. This is the perfect fit hoodie. And then the, I wanna say the Mega Fleece Cozy sweats. Sugar Plum Lilac is such a cute name. Yeah, mega fleece cozy um, sweats. The color is so nice. It's giving like, it's giving a little bit of skims, honestly. I feel like they kind of duped them a little bit, but I like the color and I like Aritzia, so. Is that everything? Oh, and then at TJ Maxx, I left the suitcase in the car. I need to go back and get that. And, hold on. And then I just got some microfiber cloths for my car. And I also got some of these little travel bottles because they were cute and pink. I don't know if I'm going to need them, but we will see. Um, so that's everything for today. Let's go ahead and do the nails. Wait, I forgot to show y'all Sephora, but technically you already seen it in the store. I just want to talk about these concealers really quickly. These are the better, best skin ever from Sephora. It has like a glow finish. I ended up getting two, a normal shade and a highlight shade. Uh, the way they went on my hand when I tried them on, this is my type of concealer. I love a thinner type of concealer. Like I hate the like shape tape from tarp 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 and then the um the two faced the two faced concealer you know what i'm talking about born this way concealer i just don't like the thickness of a lot of concealers so when i find a thin one i stick beside it like the essence keep me covered it's thin like this it just doesn't have this glowy formula in fact that's what this reminds me of a little bit the essence keep me covered so i'm gonna try these out hopefully they don't crease too bad um it says 12 hour hydration correct smooths illuminates Buildable, weightless texture, and long wear. So they were only $15. So I got two of those. I wanted somebody would in the full size, but they didn't have any full sizes. So I was like, let me just get the little one for right now. And y'all know how I feel about getting little perfumes. It's a ripoff because this is $30 and the bigger one is like $100. So for $70 more, you could have so much more because travel sizes run out so fast. But I really wanted to bring this with me. So I was like, I'll just get the little one and then I guess I'll return for the big one. Of course, you could people and then another little caudally spray to bring with me. Just because I'm going to check my bag anyways because I don't like carrying my stuff around. I know a lot of people feel a certain way about that because, you know, lost luggage and stuff. I, I'm weak. I hate lifting my bag over the overhead thing. That's number one. And number two, I just, I, I, I just can't. So I like to check mine um, and put any full size things that I need in there. But I'm not trying to bring full sizes because I'm not trying to take up too much room. Because again, I want to go shopping and they said they have a lot of stuff for us. So I'm trying to leave a lot of room. But now let's do the nails. That this away from Easy no, no need figure down Easy no 
No need to go down. Rock that run that this away from. Easy now, no need to go down. Easy now, no need to go down. Rock that run that this away from. Hey y'all, good morning and happy Sunday. Let me show y'all my nails from last night. They are so cute. I gotta get out the frame so I can focus. There we go. I did the little heart by hand and I'm like surprised that I actually did it because I didn't know I could even do that. But good morning, happy Sunday. We are about to choose a giveaway winner, but before we do, I need to actually make the second basket because I never did that. Um, but I'm gonna make it with y'all right here right now and then we can go ahead and just draw the winner. I am so excited to do this, y'all. First of all, I'm sleepy, but last night we were on live, like, and I was giving a haul of all the things I got, and why is it all just still sitting here on my desk, like, child? So I need to do a huge reset today. Not huge, but definitely a reset. Um, floors need to be swept and mopped and vacuumed again. Um, I need to clean my closet out. We need to pack. My kitchen needs to be refreshed and clean. Everything just needs a nice refresh and a nice clean. Uh, and then I need to get the dogs packed up and get them ready to go. But right now, let us let me just fix this and then bring the giveaway stuff out here to pack the second basket so we can post it um, when I choose the winner. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. All right, the sun is like all up in my grill right now. There's not much I can do about that. The blinds are actually closed, but it's still coming through here. So sorry about that if it's bothering you. Um, but I have the first basket right here for reference because I need to look at this to see how I made it to make this one like it, like this one. I'm just hoping I have enough like tissue paper and stuffing things. I believe I do. I want to say I only use like half of it over on this stuff. So hopefully if I don't, I'll definitely have to run back out to the dollar store today because I'm going out. By the way, we need to go out and get some freaking heels that I forgot yesterday. We need to go out and get a new battery for my tripod because for whatever reason, the buttons are no longer working on my digital tripod so i'm like i guess i need a new battery and i need that because while i'm in disney i want to be able to just press the buttons hands free and not keep pressing on my camera i noticed that like a month ago but i never did anything about it um but anyways um uh, girl what is that that's trash let's go ahead and try to do this in the best way and then what other errands i think i need target today Best buy for a new battery for the tripod. I feel like there's one more thing. I gotta think about it. Uh, I don't know. But let's go ahead and do this while we just sitting here. <laughs> To Georgia, back to Atlanta. Money, how present and turn back. I might fly Priscilla out just for better. Don't no mess my eyes by that ass. The way she moves it, I can tell that she loves me. Nigga can't help but to touch. Smack it round a bit, then sip on some bubble. Hope I'm not doing too much. Change new addictions, pick up on the road Change my opinions and change all my flaws Change my approach, no more Love in these holes and when it rains, it pours Alright, so I am all done here. Second one is made. They look pretty identical if I do say so myself. Um, this one actually might have a little bit more stuffing in it. I don't know, but y'all don't care. Uh, and then I pulled the two cards out uh, to write the names of the people on the front. So I'm going to do that right after I choose and get their first names because I know a lot of people's handles don't match. So I'm just expecting them to, you know, DM me on Instagram, tell me their name so I can write it on there. But let's go ahead and choose the winner now. Alright, so I'm about to get on my phone again. Um... I hope that the rules weren't unclear. I got a lot of comments on like Instagram and TikTok saying done in their favorite vlog. I put it in the description of the video. I'm not sure if anybody read it or what, but the rules were, you know, um, follow on all platforms and then comment done in your favorite vlog under the previous YouTube video, like the video with the giveaway announcement in it. Like I'm not going to TikTok to serve comments. I'm not going to Instagram to serve comments. The only place I'm going to consider the comments are the, like the video that I posted announcing the giveaway. So hopefully you did that. If you didn't, 
you pretty much disqualified yourself because I'm not looking for those comments like anywhere else just on that specific blog. Um, so I'm going to use the same exact random generator I used before. Uh, what is it even called? I just type in YouTube comment picker. No, that's not it. What, what, what was it called? I don't even know. Hold on. Intermission. It's just a random generator. Oh, yeah. Pick a winner dot co. Um, so basically, y'all seen this before if you were here back when I hit 10K, but it's a YouTube random comment picker. Um, so basically, I'm going to paste the link of that vlog here, and then I'm going to type in a filter word, keyword, search by the word done. That's why I had y'all comment done. If your caption or if your comment also didn't have the word done in it, then you also disqualified yourself because that's the only way I can surf. I think this video has like 1600 comments at this point. That's the only way I can surf 1600 comments and make it like fair is by using a keyword to search by but before i even do this i just want to again express how grateful i am like i know i say it a lot but y'all i really 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 love y'all and i really appreciate y'all community is everything to me and this is just a small a very small portion of me just saying thank you by just giving something away and giving something back to the people that support me because i really 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 do appreciate it like it warms my heart so much um so thank you very much for all the heartfelt comments. I couldn't get through them all because like I said, 1,600 comments is a lot of comments, y'all. Um, but I am so grateful. I don't want to cry. I do not want to cry. But yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful. And thank you. Thank you again. So let's go ahead and pick two winners. I'm about to go to YouTube. Um, copy my link. Yes, this video has si over 1,600 comments. It's 11.39, y'all. So here we go. Paste. And then I'm going to type in um, keyword Juno. Get out the window. I'm going to type in my keyword as done there, right there. And then I'm going to hit continue. And it's loading all the comments now. When I tell y'all it's a lot of comments, I mean a lot of comments, okay? Let's wait for it. <sighs> Intermission. All right, comments are loaded. Let's pick the first winner. I don't know why I'm nervous, but let's do it. Okay, Nayana, did, did I say it right? Nayana, Christine, yeah. Hopefully I said it right, but let's read what she wrote. This is a long one. She said, my favorite video, can I choose two? Where I've been plus unexpected move filming again. I know exactly what you're talking about. She said, this is one of my favorites because your transparency on even sharing what happened when you didn't have to. That's the video that really connected me to you because the way you talked about God and just seeing where you were to where he moved you to and the growth since has been tremendous. It really, really, really has. Um, it has allowed me to be more transparent with God with situations I tend to bottle up out of fear. I'm so proud of you already. And she said, number two, puppy update. That is also my favorite. Yes, because I love Java and I'm so glad he's okay. But again, your transparency with your relationship with God. This video showed your, this video showed your strength and the amount of faith that you have in God. I'm about to cry. She said that she lost her baby months before and she was so down. After that video, my mind says switch to whatever it takes to get back to God. I'm sorry. I'm going to read the rest, but I got tears in my eyes. Oh my gosh. She said, I lost my baby months before and I was so down. I believe she's talking about a dog, but even if she's talking about a human, huge impact. But regardless, she said, after that video, my mind says switch to whatever it takes to get back to God. Because the way he moved and gave me so much hope for my marriage and having future children that he will turn it around again. Uh, thank you for your transparency and sharing moments like this, especially the part when God intervenes. Uh, he's so unmatched and he always comes through. Amen. That's it. I know I didn't follow the rules exactly because I picked two, but I just had to share both. I believe she was talking about a dog, not a human, but like I said, either way it goes, she experienced loss and um, I guess I inspired her a little bit to get back to God. The fact that I'm seeing her crying is so embarrassing. <laughs> Let's choose another one, okay? I'm about to wipe my tears, but let's choose another one. The fact that I put on mascara is goofy because I knew how emotional I was going to get. But let me choose one more winner and then we can wrap and get on with my day. But I'm just like so wrapped up in this that it just is making me so happy and emotional at the same time. But let me choose one more. Uh, that person's username should not pop up again because it's literally still right here. I just need to X out and pick another winner. Hopefully it just doesn't. But if it does, I'll choose again. Uh, but okay, let me just... She's another winner. It says Anasia Leah, I want to say. Let me move. Anasia, I think that's how you say that. Wow, this is another long comment, but let's read it. It says, 
Firstly, I just want to say again, congrats on 20K. I'm really proud of you and excited to see you continue to grow and reach all your goals. That's so nice. I have so many favorites of yours. It's really hard to choose, lol. But currently, my favorite vlog is your recent move in with me. I just love seeing you upgrade your space, creating more room for you, my nephews, <laughs> and all the home slash lifestyle content. Content. I'm about to cry again. This is sad. I admire watching you set up your new office and how it all came together. Super cute. Also setting up your closet and shoe wall. It's all just so inspiring and I love watching you grow. I also loved your recent chit chat with me. It was so motivating and listening to you talk about God, giving him all the glory and praise really warms my heart. Because even when life is lifing and you're going through it, you always turn it into something positive and show how God covers and protects you each time from your unexpected move to your troubles with Java sickness to even now with the whole phone situation. You always give God his glory and honor and overcome each hard time with grace. And it's truly so inspiring. Thank you. Currently, you are one of the only content creators I watch on a consistent weekly basis. So the list really could go on and on and on. LOL. So proud and happy for you, Alexis. You deserve it all. <laughs> Even how you talked about community over followers is just so genuine and I love that about you. I can't even see his tears in my eyes. And I know that God will continue to shower you in favor and protection and just love overall. I can't wait to see your continued progression and what the future holds for you and your channel. Thank you both so much and congratulations. I have your baskets here. I'm about to post in my story and hopefully y'all get back to me because right now I'm going to choose somebody else. But I appreciate y'all so much. I love you all so much and thank you so much. So I'm going to start in the kitchen here. I need to empty my dishwasher and put some things in there from yesterday. Uh, and then I guess I'll just do the general like living room kitchen area. Straightening up and then I, I obviously always mop last. So I'll do that last. My bed is already made, but I could move to my bedroom slash closet next and just start to organize some things. And I also probably need to disinfect the boys bathroom. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> done cleaning the boys are here at my feet java's over there doing whatever java's doing and juno's right here um so i went ahead and we were on live last night we were trying to pick out some outfits for me i'm gonna travel in this so this doesn't really count for what i'm talking about right now but as far as like nighttime dinner looks i'm gonna definitely bring the jumpsuit from or that i wore in dc um these are the two or three things i got from zara yesterday so i'm gonna wear that set and then i'm wear these jeans with this top from h&m and then over here, I'm going to wear those cream pants with one of those tops and then maybe the gray pants with that red. I don't know. Um, I might come up with some more options tonight, but 
this is the bones of nighttime looks like i said i'm gonna travel in that i'm gonna bring that green sweatsuit the newest one uh, that i haven't worn i feel like that's very disney like plus um it'll be good for the daytime i can just unzip my jacket and take it off if i need to i might bring one more sweat set to travel back home in and then i just need some other like daytime looks for the park and stuff uh, I'll try to keep it chill and casual and like comfortable since we'll be like actually moving around and doing a lot. And then I just need to pack some bags and shoes and I think we'll be good. But right now I'm actually just about to change my sweatsuit into a different sweatsuit. And we're about to run to Target and probably to Honey Girl because I'm getting real hungry and I've yet to eat today. So uh, let me change and then we can get on out of here. All right, y'all, this is the sweatsuit I decided to throw on. This one's actually from Primark. I got a lot a long time ago, uh, 2002R, and then I'm still wearing the same coach bag from yesterday because it's ready to go, and so am I. So let's do it. So I'm at Honey Grow now. I'm about to just go in here and sit down and eat for a little minute. Uh, and then I made a target list. I definitely need a couple things. They actually sell the battery that I'm looking for um for my tripod at target so we'll get that we i also need some headphones so i can edit while i'm like in transit to orlando because i don't know when i'm edit this vlog right here i'm gonna try to start tonight and then i need some more like small travel size things from target Turns out all my shooting grip needed was a battery. It's working just fine now. Uh, I over here, I plugged up all my little things because I need to make sure they're all charged and I don't forget them. The headphones are fine. I was just using them for like the last 10 minutes. They're perfectly fine for what I need them for. I ended up getting a portable charger or battery pack from um, Target. This one has USB and USB-C in there so I can charge my camera and my phone at the same time. While I'm on the go, I'm bringing my external hard drive, my SD card adapter and my laptop so I can edit on the go. And then Java's eating his food right now. I I think I'm gonna pack the dogs up first while I'm out here. Let's do that. Let's go in here and just pack them up. Um and get their little things together. He is dogging that food. Like, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna put their stuff in the same bag that I used before. I like to put a couple toys, smaller toys, couple treats, measure out each of their foods. Um, this one is Java's from like two weeks ago when I went to Chicago. And then Juno has his own down here also. Put some Paul wipes in here just in case, uh, and then some treats, obviously. So let me do this and we will be good to go. So I am done with the dogs. I'm just in my closet thinking to myself like, hold on, this is Disney, not like Paris. Like, I don't know if I'm overdressing for evening looks or what, I don't know. I'm gonna bring them, but I'm also trying to bring some more casual things like just a jean in the top, if that makes sense. Cause I'm looking back at our itinerary, like at what point are we gonna have time to like go back, get ready and change and stuff. So I'm like, I might have to casual it down a little bit. I got my daytime outfits here. So I'm definitely gonna bring my divinity jumpsuit from Maritzia um, because I feel like this is very like park friendly, like great thing to wear, like a unitard, you know, and then a cropped hoodie from Maritzia. Also, that'll be cute with some Asics or New Balance or whatever. So that could be like maybe Wednesday. Tuesday, I'm gonna do this set from Maritzia with the white top underneath. If it get hot, I can take this off and just wear the white top. Monday, during the daytime, I'm gonna wear my airport fit, which is just that lilac Aritzia set. Now I am gonna bring another hoodie from Maritzia and then two pair of jeans, one pair of like super dark denim and a pair of cargos just in case. I want to wear like the cargos or like maybe just this type of top just something simple and like a little less warm um the weather's not supposed to be that warm like it's supposed to get up to 70 while i'm there 75 maybe um so i feel like hoodies are fine i'm also gonna bring my leather bomber jacket here just in case all right so Alyssa and i were just going over like outfit ideas and what we 
are thinking about like how this is like trying to fit into the itinerary i don't know so <coughs> we just came up with like something a lot more simple for my mind because in my mind i was i had too many options okay so monday when i travel i'm gonna wear or tomorrow when i travel i'm gonna wear the lilac or tia set settle in to my um room and then i'm gonna change into something a little bit more dressy but absolutely casual to meet people and just to start the day because like i don't want to wear an aritzia set because let me see what is on for monday i need to take screenshots instead of keep going back to my email but like monday at five we're doing we're, we're going to um to the welcome dinner at 5 45 but before we go to a welcome dinner we're doing like a disney springs art walk so like i don't want to be like doing an art walk in heels and like a super fancy outfit but something cute but like casual you feel what i'm saying so and then after that we're doing a sip and paint so it's like i don't want to be like too dressed up i don't want to be wearing an aritzia set and then after that we're doing like actual dinner um and then after that we'll get like free time so i'm thinking monday we do the aritzia set and then monday night slash for the sip and paint and everything i just mentioned i might do these aritzia pants with this Aritzia top with my Zara jacket. I feel like that'll be cute and like just, it's just really cute like to meet everybody and then I'll pair this with a sneaker. I think that's a really good outfit. And then Tuesday is looking like we're about to just be doing theme park after theme park after theme park. So it's looking like I'm probably gonna wear my Divinity romper and my cropped hoodie. And then, um, so like we're eating also Tuesday but like probably like super casual spots. And then Wednesday is giving casual outfit during the daytime because i think we're going to like meet princess tiana or something like that so it's given green and retia set with white top and then that night we're doing a broadway show and dinner so in between there we'll have a big chunk of time to go changing things so i'm thinking take the green set off and then put something like this or this on for broadway show and then at that point i will wear a heel or a boot really a boot why did i think of a boot before a boot i can do a boot and i got boots and then so that's wednesday night and then thursday i'm actually cutting my trip a day short because i want to get home um but thursday during the daytime we're doing like something like some content capture like super early in the morning and we're doing some meet and greet so i'm thinking denim jumpsuit with sambas to really just dress it down but to also like make it cute you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be real early and we're also doing a private breakfast so it's like i don't want to like just have on a hoodie but if I wear this, it's just gonna casual it. It's just gonna make it real casual if I wear it with my sambas. I'm thinking that. So I feel like I'm good in my mind now and I can stop like overpacking and actually leave room because I wanna do a little bit of shopping and I wanna have room for all my gifts and things. So let's pack with that in mind. And I might have to try some stuff on too. All right, so I've been trying stuff on for a little while and I've narrowed it down to these options right here. Nothing really has an option except for one outfit. I think Wednesday night I have two tops and I don't know which one I want to wear. So I've narrowed it down. Why are you doing that? I've narrowed it down a lot um, so I don't overpack. Plus, I'm trying to bring stuff back. So let's see how this all fits. I'm hoping it'll all just fit into one side, honestly. But we're going to see. You want to go? Okay. Both of you can go. You sit in this side, you sit in this side, and I'll close it up. A Everything is good and in there. The suitcase is actually pretty large. I actually fit all my clothes over here. I'm leaving that little space for my toiletry bag because I need it to be snug just so like my perfumes don't crack or anything like that. Um, so I always like to pat it against something. And then over here I have two sneakers. I also need to go get my boots from the car because I'm going to wear my stiletto boots with one of these outfits. Um, so I need to go get those from the car and like try to stuff them in there. But yeah, and then I got some things in here and then over here. Is everything I need for the morning and my toiletries are packed in the bathroom. So I guess we're done. I just need to run in the car, get my boots, which have been in my trunk for an unreasonable amount of time. Um, so I'm just about to eat again and go to bed because 
it's that time. But let me go actually um, finish the giveaway baskets, wrapping them up, because I did hear back from both winners today. So unfortunately, nobody else can win. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's let's wrap that up and then close the vlog. All right, so I'm in the office now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and write the first names on the cards. Nayana is the first name of one of the winners. And then I wanna say, this pen has so much ink bleeding out, like it's getting all over my hands, why? Um, a nausea. This other name. I think she goes by India though, but I'm just gonna write a nausea on here. Oh, I wrote this upside down according to the heart and the way it opened, but oh well. All right, and then the second one is ready. Uh, I'm gonna bag them up um, like when I get ready to send them off, so that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog so much. It's so funny, Juno just came back from eating and he only eats when Java gets in the crate. I think he's afraid of Java stealing his food. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog so much. I am off to Disney in the morning and the whole next vlog will be all about Disney. So I am extra, extra, extra excited especially for the content and just wrapping it all into one vlog i'm gonna love that so much and i hope you all enjoyed that vlog also again congratulations to the winners thank you all for entering the giveaway but more importantly for supporting me because it really wasn't about the stuff but more so about the support and i appreciate it so much um uh, if you want to keep up with the brand trip content make sure to go over to my tiktok and instagram because i will be posting like in real time all week long um but y'all won't get this vlog for a week after you see this um so yeah, I love you guys so much and I guess until next time, I'll see y'all. Bye.